Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number two from the P4, Pure Mathematics P4, January um, 2022 International A Level Edexcel um, exam. And this question here is about the binomial expansion. It says finding ascending powers of x, the first three non zero terms of the binomial series, expansion of this, which is the cube root of 1 plus 4 x cubed and they told us here the magnitude of x is less than 1 over the cube root of 4 giving each coefficient as a simplified fraction okay so the first three non-zero terms basically the first three terms aren't zero okay so let's first rewrite this in index form the cube root of something like a to the power of a third is equal to the cube root of something we know that from our laws of indices. So this can be written as uh, 1 plus 4x cubed to the power of 1 third. Okay, 1 plus 4x cubed to the power of a third. That's how we can rewrite this in index form. Now when we have something in this form where you have um, 1 plus x to the power of n, we can use the formula which is in the formula book which is as follows. 1 plus x to the power of n equals 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed and so on and continue with that same pattern where you keep taking one more away from the n and keep raising the power of this x to the power of 3 and keep increasing this to one more factorial Okay, so the x in this formula stands for whatever is in this position. So this x stands for this term here. So if I want to relate this formula to this particular expression, the x is going to be 4x cubed. Okay, so let's have a go at this. Then. Let's try to relate this into this formula. So we can say, therefore, that 1 plus 4x cubed, let me just uh, put it down a bit so we have a bit more space is equal to 1 plus nx. Now, n is the power, okay, which is the power of a third, not 3, power of a third. Okay, I wrote 3 there for a second. Okay, so let me make sure I don't do that again. That's 1 third, okay, as I wrote there. 1 plus, so n is 1 third, the power. So a third times, now x is whatever's in this place, which is 4x cubed. Okay, now let me just do that again. I wrote it all wrong. In a rush. Don't be in a rush. So you have 1 plus 4x cubed to the power of a third. Okay, it's a bit confusing there. Some maybe, so don't ever be in a rush like I was there. So you have 4x cubed. Okay, that's what goes in this place here. I'm not cubing the whole of this. I'm just writing this term inside that bracket. Okay, so that's the first non-zero term. That's the second non-zero term. It says the first three. So we have one more term to write down, which is this term here, plus n, which is one third, times one third minus one, which is minus two thirds. If you take away one third, um, if you take away one, which is three over three from one over three, you get minus two over three, over two factorial, which is two times one, which is two, and the x, remember, is four x cubed but then to the power of 2, plus dot, dot, dot. We don't need any of the other terms. Those are the first three non-zero terms. These are non-zero terms. So if we simplify these terms, we have 1 plus 4 over 3x cubed. And this is going to give us, there's a negative, all right? So you're going to end up with a negative minus here. This is going to be the 2 cancels with that 2. And you'll then end up with 3 times 3, which is, 9, so minus 1 over 9 times, now 4 squared is 16, and x to the power of 3 squared is x to the power of 6. You, you multiply the powers when you raise it to another power. So 4 squared is 16, and x to the power of 6, you multiply the powers. So therefore, we end up with this being 1 plus 4 over 3x cubed minus 16 over 9 x to the power of 6. That's the first three non-zero terms and that's what we have here okay our exp the original expression we had was the cube root of one plus four x 
cubed. So the cube root of 1 plus 4x cubed is equal to this. This is what it expands to for the first three non-zero terms. Okay, that's um, the, we give each coefficient as a simplified fraction. So that is the answer to part A. Okay, so now we're going to move on to part B. Okay, so for part B, it says use the expansion, which we just found. This is the expansion from part A. I've just copied it here. Uh, with x equals one third to find a rational approximation to the cube root of 31. So first of all, I'm going to take the cube root of 1 plus, I rush again, 1 plus 4x cubed. And I'm going to substitute x equals 1 third into here and see what it gives me. If I put 1 third into here, I'll have 1 plus 4 times 1 third cubed, which is equal to the cube root of, this is the cube root, the cube root of 1 plus 4 over 27. Okay, now, this is going to give us, if I, if I add 27 over 27, okay, to 4 over 27, I get 31 over 27. So this is the cube root of, all of this this is if I add these together I end up with uh, 31 over 27 okay so we can say that the cube this is going to give us um, the cube root of 31 over the cube root of 27 is 3 so it gives us this so we can say here that when x equals one third okay then this gives us that value here so let's put one third so basically what we can do is when x equals one third this becomes the cube root of uh, 31 over 3 and this becomes 1 plus 4 over 3 times one third cubed minus 16 over 9 times one third to the power of 6 okay so now if I find what this is and multiply it by 3 I've got an approximation for, because this is an approximately the value of this, I've got an approximation for this root, the cube root of 31, right? Because cube root of 31 over 3 is approximately this value. That's from this expansion. So all I have to do now is find the value of this and multiply it by 3, and I've got the cube root of 31 approximate value for it. Okay, and we can always check our answer in the end to see if it's close to the actual value to see how far, you know, if we're on the right track. So we have 1 plus we've got 4 over 3 times 1 third cubed so I'll do it like this this is going to be cubed okay and you got minus and you have 16 over 9 16 over 9 times 1 third to the power of 6 Okay, to the power of 6. Okay, that will give us the value that's 6869 over 6561. 6869 over 6561. 6561. That's the cube root of 31 over 3 is approximately equal to this. Therefore, we can say the cube root of 31 is approximately equal to all of this times 3. 3 times 6, 8, 6, 9 over 6, 5, 6, 1. So we multiply this by 3. That gives us 6, 8, 6, 9 over 2, 1, 8, 7. Okay, so 6, 8, 6, 9 over 2, 1, is it 8, 7? Yeah, okay. So it says give your answer. Okay, so that's a rational approximation. Rational means in terms of a fraction so ratio so we can leave it like this if we if we try to round this we have to it gives us a bit something which is a bit long so when it says ratio express it as a ratio so we can leave our answer in this form now as i said we can find the value of this and compare it to the actual value so i'm going to store this as a okay so that's stored as a if i take the cube root of 31 the actual cube root of 31 and see its value we can see we got something very close to our answer that we stored. Okay, it's not too far away from it.
okay 3.14083 and 3.1418 so it's correct to at least um let's see how many decimal places 3.14141 that would be 3.141 yeah so it looks like it's correct to three decimal places the approximation so we know that we're on the right track so we've got the right answer once you check so you can check to make sure that you got something close of course you're not going to get exactly the same value because this is an approximation because we only used a certain uh, number of uh, terms we um, this is an infinite expansion so therefore you know you can't get the exact value using this method but this gives you a good enough approximation so there's the answer to part b and that concludes question number two from the January 2022 Pure Mathematics P4 International Level Exam. Other questions from this paper can be found in this um, playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions from Binomial Expansion of P4 can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.